Hi everybody, it's Dave for Pro Tools Answers. So I was doing a session yesterday and spending quite a bit of time with MIDI and noticed that there were a couple of shortcuts uh, that were really making my work really nice and quick. So I thought I'd share those with you today. I was working on this organ track and typically I will have my uh, MIDI tracks in clips view because I can cut them and move them around uh, and whatnot. But when I'm wanting to shift over to notes view, um, if I'm in keyboard focus mode, um, I can just press the minus key on my keyboard and that switches over to notes view. Um, and I'm using the R and T key uh, for zooming as well. That tends to make things uh, even quicker as well. Um, and then if I wanted to switch back to clips view um, after I've done some editing to then move some clips around, I'm going to press the minus key again and that brings us back into clips view. Now these are the two views that I spend a majority of my time in, but there is one other view uh, that I like to work with too and that's uh, going to be Velocity's view. Now there isn't a shortcut to directly get to Velocity's view which is a little bit of a pain uh, but if we use uh, command and control on a Mac or start and control on a PC um, and the right and left arrow key as long as your track is selected we can flick just a couple of presses and we can get over to, to Velocity's view nice and quickly. Um, now, I imagine that some of you would be thinking, well, that means that you've got to always have uh, make the, 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 the conscious choice to go over and, and select the track. But if you have track and edit selection linked, you know, whenever you're clicking around a track, you are it's essentially making an edit selection or in instigating an edit selection. So the track that you're working on will always become selected if you have your track and edit selection linked. So that can make that shortcut really nice and quick. Um, but if you're not wanting to work in that specific mode, and I could probably understand why for a couple of scenarios, um, let me just drop that down a little bit. Um, we have a little drop down here and we can reveal um, a, all of our automation tracks uh, below the track. So we could potentially um, not really need to work on Velocity's view specifically in the track itself. We could just have Velocity's view revealed below the track and then we can do the editing of our Velocities right there. So a couple of really cool shortcuts uh, right there. The last one, the, 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 um, the, that's not limited to that either. There are a couple of other ways to do things. I think when I was thinking about this, those are probably the quickest ones to work with. Uh, now the final one, this is probably one of my favorites, is I'm, I'm occasionally switching between grid resolutions. At the moment I'm set on to, uh, to crotchets, uh, quavers, sorry, um, one eighths. And occasionally if I want to do some editing or some programming um, in different resolutions, um, you'd have to go up to the drop down box up here um, and then drop down. But there's a lovely little shortcut. If you hold down the shift key and use the plus and minus keys, you can scroll through the grid resolutions with a couple of presses. That can really make things very, very speedy as well. Uh, so I hope that was useful to you. Um, if you're liking what we're doing at Pro Tools Answers, uh, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon so you get notified when we're releasing new videos every week. Um, and if you head over to protoolsanswers.com, you can subscribe over there. Andy will send you a nice uh, email every week to let you know what we're doing. And if you fancy taking that next step and supporting what we're doing here at Pro Tools Answers, giving you all of this wonderful Pro Tools training and information for free, um, you can uh, click on the, uh, the, the the support over there and you can lend some support to the channel. There's a whole load of benefits included in that as well and you can read about that over on ProToolsAnswers.com. Uh, so once again, hope this video was useful. Uh, thanks for watching. My name's Dave. This is ProTools Answers. We'll see you on the next episode.